Hi guys, welcome to a new quick tutorial. Today let's talk emulsion versus bladders. We have many different videos on the internet. I had to do it in French, but I'd also do it in English. What are the differences between emulsion and bladders? Many cars today have different shock caps. It's the case with the Kyosho MP10. You can choose between the bladder and the emulsion. So the bladder is the small rubber part you have in the shock cap and it will compensate the volume of the shock shaft going into the shock. We have today on the market many different bladder brands. In my opinion, it's more important to set up your car, get the oil right, than choosing the medium, the soft, the hard bladders. Every day in the RSRC Academy, I can see drivers getting to me and say, oh, I have the soft bladder in the back, medium in the front. In my opinion, we have many different tuning options on a boogie or any remote control car that comes before tuning the bladder thickness or hardness. Of course, it's gonna make a difference. Some drivers are gonna feel it and you can use that as a tuning options. But if your shock oil and your piston is not right, there is no point to play on different uh, bladder hardness. That's the first rule in my opinion. Let's stay simple, play with the bladder as soon as you've been through all the tuning options and now you wanna get faster and you don't know how. Bladders versus emulsion. The biggest gain you're gonna have with the bladder is the car is gonna be more reactive. The car is going to feel a little bit thicker, more reactive. So you could feel that because the car is more reactive, you're going to have more grip. But it's not the case, actually. It's going to push the wheel a little bit quicker on the ground. But in my opinion, you don't really have more grip with the bladder. It's just going to be a feeling. And we go through the emulsion. The big gain you're going to have with the emulsion is you're going to have more grip. The car is going to be more settled and it's also going to be a lot better in the bumps. In my opinion, as of today, I prefer the emulsion version for my shocks and I feel my car is better with that. Also, the landing after the jump is going to be a lot better with the emulsion. It's not going to slap that hard and you can feel that your car is also easier to drive. It depends on the cars. It depends on the shocks geometry also. For example, on a 10 scale car, I personally try bladders and it's impossible to drive. So emulsion is going to be always better on a 10 scale buggy but for 8 scale buggy like i said many buggies have different options and the best way is maybe to try one or the other on the same track same day back to back and make your own point of view about both solutions and let's share here what's your feeling about it the emulsion is super nice the only thing that you have to be really careful about is you're really gonna need more maintenance if you're using a bladder, your shock doesn't leak, the temperature is pretty much the same, you don't really have to change the oil, no maintenance. It's not the case with the emulsion version. With the emulsion version, it's gonna be a lot different if the temperature is low or the temperature is high. So whenever you rebuild your shocks, make sure that it's okay, but when you're at the track, the temperature is different, the air pressure is gonna be different also, and your shock is gonna act differently. So on the racetrack, on the race day, you can open your shock, at least get the screw out, bleed them out, so get the air out of the shocks at least once or twice to make sure that the shock is gonna be 100% efficient every single time you go on the track. We're gonna see in another tutorial how to rebuild your emulsion shocks, but it's gonna be a solution that you're gonna use with more maintenance. If you don't do that, you're gonna overpressure your shock and the shock shaft cannot even get in your shock, or you're gonna have too much air and the suspension is not going to be working at 100%. That's something you're going to keep in mind. It's all for today. Let's see you soon in another quick tutorial. Bye-bye.